Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Samuel Wilkan. Welcome to Edison Online Academy. In this uh, AutoCAD tutorial, we'll be looking at how to turn off dynamic input. How to turn off dynamic input. Without much ado, let me quickly go back to the software. So let me share my screen quickly. So So right now, this is my AutoCAD screen. Let me turn up the grid. So um, there are times when you are drawing. For instance, uh, my dynamic input is already turned on. It turned on already. If you want to turn it off, turn it on. Come down to where you have this barrier. Come down here. You have model, you have grid, snap mode. This is dynamic inputs. This is dynamic inputs. This plus sign here with the dash below. This is dynamic inputs. It's on the status bar. So dynamic inputs is before auto mode. Currently, it is turned off here. If it is not displayed on the status bar, for you to display it, you have to go to customization. That is the last two here. This three dash, come over here and click. On clicking, then go up till you see dynamic input. That is where my cursor is over and over. So you make sure it is turned on here. Already my own is turned on that is a, it's checked already. If yours is not on, you can check it. When you turn it, when you check it here, it's gonna be displayed on your status bar. Okay, it's gonna be displayed on your status bar. So right now it is turned off, but there are times that you might know as a beginner, it's gonna be on. So let me draw, it is off right now. Let me draw, draw a line while it is off. And then I'm gonna draw the same line while it is actually turned on. So I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna, let me set my limit. I'm going to set my limit. Okay, first of all, let me say your unit. 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 So, you know what I want. Again, you can. Okay. Precision zero millimeter. Okay, then limits. My limit is going to be zero comma zero, then one fifty comma hundred. Okay, so let me make it feasible. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool right now. So I come here. I click on rectangle and I type in zero comma zero. I press enter my keyboard. Then I type 150 comma 100. I press enter key again on my keyboard. And I draw this and it's shown. The limit of specify is actually visible right now. So I'm gonna draw the line of length 20. So I click on the line to, I come over here to my drawing area, I click, let me turn on auto mode. I turn on auto mode. So I, let me start on my game. Auto mode is turned on already. I click on line, 
I come to my drawing area, I click, I move forward, I type 20, I press enter, and the line is drawn. Let me draw a line of line length 50. I click on line, come to my drawing area, I click, I move down a little, I type 50, I press enter, press enter again, the line is drawn. Okay, now let me turn off dynamic input. This is dynamic input, the plus here. I click on it to turn it on. Okay, now I'm going to draw this same line again. I go back to line up here, click on line. I max to specify first point. Now, on the command line, I am told to specify first point. On the cursor, look at the cursor. You see specify first point, and there are two numbers written already. So those two numbers actually are indicating the coordinate, the X and Y coordinate, my position with respect to the origin, zero, zero. If I come here to the origin, it's going to show zero, zero. I move up a little, it show me zero, 28. That means um, still on, on the X, I'm on position zero, while on the Y, I'm on position 20. What am I showing you at that moment? So when dynamic input is turned on, when you move on the screen, your it's going to actually show you your coordinates, your position, respect to the X and Y at this with respect to the origin. So right now I can come here, I draw. So but so far. Based on my tutorials, we've been working without dynamic input. So in case dynamic input is the top you. Okay, let me go ahead and draw the line of length 20. So I click, I move to towards the right, I type 20. I type 20. Now the 20 actually shows close to where I'm drawing the line. The 20 appears. Is no longer the change is no longer appearing on the command line anymore. So I press enter. I press enter again. Time the line. And the line is drawn. Let me draw the line of length fifty. I go to my command to my, to my line to up here. I click on line. I come to the screen. Now where I want to start drawing. The coordinates with respect to x and y are showing that is 87 86 i click my first point now i want to draw a line of length 50 as i'm increasing as i'm going down the line is increasing now i showing the length of the line is showing i type 50 50 50 is just close to the cursor the 50 appears i press enter and the line is drawn i press enter again to terminate the line so but in all the tutorials I've done so far, dynamic input, I've never shown dynamic input. I've not been using dynamic input. So it might act like a disturbance to you. So for it to turn it off, for it to disturb you, for it to focus on the command line alone, the command window alone, the command line, you come down here to the status bar. Where you have this plus, when you see dynamic input, you click on it to turn it off and it will interfere with your work. So, I hope you actually understand how you can actually turn on dynamic input and turn it off, or how you can even display it if it's not on your status bar. How do you display? You go to customization, that is the last two here, the last icon here, and click, and this is it. This is where you display it. You click it, you check it. Either you check it or you don't check. So either display it or remove it from the status bar. So this we've come to the end of our tutorial today. So please, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Drop your comments. If you have any question, you are free to drop them. You can actually drop any question or any comment you have in the comment section or 
you can um WhatsApp me on plus two three four eight zero three eight two nine five one eight five. Thank you. Bye. Also, you can um look through our previous videos. We'll meet you next lesson.